Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Emanuela Zaimi, and I am connected today uh, through the Fireside Chat Station. Uh, we start the day again with a marathon of uh, chats here with interesting topic, topics, and I have the pleasure to introduce to you now um, Mr. Moshe. Yep. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. Nice meeting you. Uh, I wish I could be with you, but it didn't work out. So I'm happy to be with you on this uh, chat. Yeah, but uh, luckily we have the opportunity to get all connected, thanks to COVID as well. It was not a mainstream situation before for conferences. And also, uh, Mr. Gaon, um, uh, we we are all live streamed, so nobody will miss you, and you'll have the opportunity to share all together what we will be talking today. And our topic for today is accessible job searches, and I know that you are an expert on this topic. So um, let me start straight away. Would you like to introduce yourself in more details to the audience? Yes, I, I would. It will be a pleasure. Actually, uh, thank you for the Zero Project to inviting us. I was there two years ago in the conference uh, presenting UCAN at the time, and um, you know I'm happy to do it again. UCANFind.com or UCANFind Technologies. We are the number one collaborative community for people with disabilities around the world. We launched it about six years ago. I'm co-founder and the uh, the manager of UCAN with to, together with my brother Yoav and my other partner, Dror. And for the last six years, we've built it to become a worldwide global connector um, to help people as a resource to um, find jobs, to find uh, opportunities, to find insp inspiring stories. And you can has become now a three-dimensional resource for people from around the world um, to find, to collaborate, to share. And we now have uh, stories from 105 countries, 2,500 wow. storytellers, and a lot of connections. So it's 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 an amazing uh, uh, a product that we've launched and are happy to share with everybody. Well, very impressive. Just in six years, and you're mentioning 105 countries and going so global. Does this mean that it is such a huge need to be to be with this kind of solution out there? Well, yeah, I mean, what, what happened is that we um, we started UCAN with this vision that people with disabilities and their families uh, are suffering from frustration and from loneliness. And those two things are, are major when it comes to figuring out what you're going to do with your life, how you're going to improve your life, how you're going to have a better life for you and uh, your family. So the idea was that with UCAN, you will never be alone. And the idea was to provide a solution that basically says to people, you can do anything. That 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 is the source of our name. Uh, you can do anything. We obviously wrote it a little different from what you hear it. Yeah, I see um, it. <laughs> it is unique, and it was designed to be inspiring, happy, interesting, and um, empower people. And with that, we moved to providing the resources that people would want to want to see. So we started beta siting, um, doing different um, um, collaborations with different vendors, with different organizations around the world, including the Zero Project that you would find on our front page. And the idea was also to develop uh, tools that people can actually use. One of them is what we call You Can Work, which was launched about a year ago, which is currently in beta site in Israel, mm -hmm. and is really a good example of how you can actually help people find jobs. That's great. Thank you very much for all the work that you are doing. But can we talk a little bit about um, the gap between talk and action uh, when it comes to companies offering real jobs for people with disabilities? I mean, being there uh, in the mainstream open job market. How easy is that and what's the situation? Well, and you, as you know, I mean, there are reports that, I mean, the uh, unemployment for people with disabilities is more than double that of people with no disabilities. There's a major issue finding jobs when you have a disability and you're trying to find a job. And one of the problems we see around the world is... Um, it's fine. We are still uh, with you. you see me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Disconnect. Okay. Um, let me shut off my phone here so it doesn't interrupt <laughs> us. Yeah. I hope I have done uh, so for mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So one, one of the things we find is that companies, uh, they talk a lot about doing things to solve the problem of a disability. They, they uh, talk about how the solutions they will bring in. But eventually, at the end of the day, 
there is very little opportunities. There's very little amount of jobs that are available around the world. And the second problem is that there's no shared knowledge. Uh, from one country to the other, you will find different opportunities, different people trying to do different things, different organizations trying to help finding jobs. But there's no global sharing. There's no global knowledge. There's no global exchange of, of data that will allow us to develop this on a global basis, to scale it up. And one of the things we're trying to do with UCAN is to develop a knowledge that can actually be scaled from anywhere in the world to anywhere in the world. That's how you uh, would want to design products to help people around the world, not just to do it in small scale, mm -hmm. in, you know, in different countries, but to do it on a global scale and really try to solve this problem. And one of the frustrations I, I find is that not just in work, but in everything else, there's duplication. People trying to do things on their own, companies that talk a lot about doing things and providing solutions, but eventually when it comes to actually doing it, um, it doesn't come across, it doesn't come through. And I think we need to find a solution uh, to collaborate, to find ways to do things together, to share information, and to find a solution that could scale from one country to the other. Well, um, I would like to stop also on the side of, of uh, potential uh, or future job seekers, uh, people with disabilities. Do you think there is also a need to um, uh, contribute more in providing uh, services and solutions that would further build their uh, capacities um, to be well prepared for a job market? So do you see any gap also in here beside the um, the gap between the talk and the walk uh, of the corporates? Well, I mean, if you look around, and I've been doing a lot of searches and trying to, to see what others are doing around the world, governments and organizations. So people are trying to do things, but again, because it's done uh, separately, you know, every company does its little thing, every company does its little initiative, everybody's trying to maybe get a few people to work for them so they can actually show that they're doing something. Um, it works on a very low scale, and mm -hmm. it doesn't solve the problem of high unemployment among people with disabilities and their families. And I'm not just talking about the people themselves who have a disability, but also you know that when there are families with a child with a disability, mm -hmm. the, pe the parents have a problem working. I mean, it's not an easy thing to do. And you would have assumed that during COVID, for example, it would have been a great opportunity to help and improve that situation. But in reality, if you look at the, the numbers for the COVID period, actually the, the numbers of unemployment among disability is record high. I mean, it's never been so high in the United States than before. So why is it even in a time where things are changing and technologies change, and now you can work um, uh, long distance and you can work remote and you can actually do services from your home, why don't we have a solution that allows people with disabilities to, to get more jobs? And I think the reason is, is that there's no shared, shared solution. Um, there's no organized uh, uh, process of doing it. And I, you know, one of the things I've been trying to do with UCAN is to provide a tool, which we have now, a, you know, a tool that works, a database that works, a technology that works, that will allow to scale in every language around the world. And what, one of the things that we've been trying to do with others is to say to them, let's work together. Let's take our knowledge, let's take our tools, that's our technology and translate it and work with it in your country, in your uh, ecosystem. It can really become a very good solution for everybody. I understand. I, so, so it would be a um, worldwide platform uh, that serves um, in every country, but may be tailored according to the, to the needs of that country, right? But with the main aim on... Um, yeah, serving the purpose and the vision that uh, that you're having. Because the needs are the same. I mean, uh, you know, yes. people want a job, people want to work. Um, the, the, the jobs are pretty much the same. Disabilities, although they are diverse, I mean, you know, there's no, there's no difference between countries in terms of the needs of people with disabilities to work. I think it's really designed to be something that if we work together, if we find a way to collaborate, instead of people doing things on their own, try to work together, I think we will be able to succeed more. And I think it's not just to do with the work, it has to do with everything. It has to do with you know, sharing information, collaborating in awareness, um, helping one another. And one of the things that I think makes UCAN unique, and, and, and our partners know this, uh, including the Zero Project, 
We've always said, look, tell us what we can do for you. Tell us how we can help you. Tell us how we can share your existence, your work, your knowledge on the UCAN platform, and we'll be happy to do it. So I, I call on everybody, collaborate together. Let's work together. If you have something you want to do with UCAN, we'll be happy to do it with you. And of course, when he talks about jobs, I think there's great solutions around the world. We just need to collaborate and, and advise everybody what's what's there. And if you have a solution, which is great, That's put it on UCAN. Right. Yes, Share it with yes, the world. I get totally. Well, I'm sure you'll reach even further. I mean, in six years, you're talking about, I think, great achievements. And related to what you said before, um, well, the effect of the pandemic, and uh, I, th I think everybody is thinking about the solution you proposed. But maybe also, um, the pandemic is still here, so it's not like uh, we miss like after years uh, after the pandemic. So maybe it's still in a um, thinking process, designing process, and that's where I also, uh, my modest thinking about you is that just to spread the world of what you're doing, and uh, I'm sure that you'll find, especially among zero project delegates and uh, partners, um, a, a huge support, the support that you need and that has an impact for us all. I'll thank you very much. Um, if you have a last call for action, you already did that. Or if you want to say something in addition, um, please do so. And. Um, I really hope that we see each other next year in person here in uh, UN headquarters for the Zero Project Conference. Now, I want to thank you. I just invite everybody to go into youcanfind.com. I think you see the, uh, the address there on the, on the screen. Um, I welcome everybody to collaborate with me and we'll be happy to help anybody with anything they want in order to improve life for people with disabilities and help them find a job as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Gaon. It was a pleasure and thank you for accepting me to moderate this talk I had to step in it's for <laughs> for another colleague. But thank you, thank you very much. It was a pleasure for me thank as you. well. Have a nice day.